All right, so y'all go ahead and do the factoring and the math knowledge question for today. Pause the video, and then once everyone is finished, you can unpause the video, and I'll go over the correct answers. So for the factoring, you should have x plus 10 times x minus 9. And so that would be your answer. For the math knowledge question, you need to distribute this. So that will give you x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, and then equals the right side, which is x squared plus y squared. And then you have an x squared on both sides of your equation, so those would cancel. And you have a y squared on both sides of the equation, so those would cancel. So we're left with 2xy equals 0. And if you divide by 2, that gives you that xy has to equal 0. So that means number 3 is, three, uh, number three is true. So A can't work, B can't work, and C can't work. So it's either 3 only or 2 and 3. So that means that we don't even have to test number 1 because it cannot possibly be an answer. Now we're going to try for number 2 to distribute it. So we'll have x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equals x squared plus y squared. Again, we have an x squared on both sides and a y squared on both sides. So we're left with negative 2xy equals 0. What do we know about xy, though? It equals 0. So negative 2 times 0, does that equal 0? It does. So number 2 has to be true. So your answer is B. E. Okay, so we are looking at lesson 11 today. We're going to be finding midpoints. So hopefully after this lesson, you'll understand how to find midpoints. When you have two numbers on a number line, A and B, the midpoint of segment AB is the point that is equidistant from both A and B. So the midpoint is going to bisect the segment. It's going to cut it in half. So the way you find your midpoint, C, is just to add A and B together and divide by 2. That's all you're going to do. Take your A and your B, add them together, and divide by 2. If you have it on a coordinate plane, your midpoint M is going to be your X coordinates added together and divided by 2, and your Y coordinates added together and divided by 2. So that's all you're going to do if it's on a coordinate plane. So we want to find the coordinate of the midpoint that connects negative 5 and 3. So our midpoint, we're just going to do negative 5 plus 3 and divide by 2. So negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. And if you divide by 2, that gives you negative 1. So that would be your answer. For the next one, the midpoint. We're going to add our x values together. So our x's are 3 and 7. And then we're going to divide that by 2. And our y values are 7 and 9. And then you're going to divide by 2. So 3 plus 7 is 10. And 7 plus 9 is 16. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. So that would be your answer for that one. Hopefully that formula is not terribly difficult to understand. If you have a negative, you keep it. If it's a positive, you keep it positive. You just add the two numbers they give you and divide by two. So we want to find the midpoint of each side of our triangle. So I'll start with the midpoint of RP. Our x values are negative 4 and 2. And our y values are negative 1 and 5. So negative 2, or negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, which when you divide by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 5, when you divide by 2, you're going to get 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So that would be the midpoint of this side here. Let's do PQ now. Our x values are 2 and 4, and our y values are 5 and 1. 
So if you add 2 plus 4 and divide by 2, you should get 3. And then 5 plus 1 and divide by 2 gives you 3 as well. So that would be the midpoint of that side. The only other side we need to do is RQ. So our x values are negative 4 and 4. And our y values are negative 1 and 1. So we get 0 over 2, which is 0. And again, we get 0 over 2, which is also 0. So those would be the midpoints of those three sides. That's all you have to do. Add them together and divide by 2. Looking at this one, we have a fishing boat. Dropped its anchor equidistant from Cape Spirit and Endeavor Rock Lighthouse. Find the coordinates of the boat. So the first thing we need to do is find the coordinates of Cape Spirit and Endeavor Rock Lighthouse. So this would be negative 3, 2. And then this one would be 3, negative 3. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is add your x's. So that's going to be negative 3 plus 3 divided by 2. And then add your y's. So negative 3 plus 3 divided by 2 is 0. 2 plus a negative 3 is negative 1. And divided by 2 gives you negative 1 half. Or you can write it as negative 0 0.5. Either one would work that one or negative one half. Okay, so that's our midpoint. Now it says locate the coordinates of the midpoint of the segment that connects the boat. Well, this is the boat that we just found. It connects the boat and Cape Spirit. So the boat and Cape Spirit. So our x values are negative three and zero. And our y values are negative 0 0.5 and 2. So if you add, you get negative 3 divided by 2, which you can leave as negative 3 over 2, or you can write negative 1.5. Either one of those is fine with me. And then if you add, you get 1.5. And if you divide by 2, you're going to get negative 3 fourths or negative 0 0.75. Either one is fine with me. You can do fractions or decimals. And then it says to locate the coordinates of the midpoint connecting the boat to the lighthouse. So the boat and lighthouse x values are 0 and 3. And the y values are negative 0 0.5 and negative 3. So if you add and divide by 2, you should get 3 over 2, and then negative 7 over 4, which this would be 1.5, and this would be negative 1.75. So you can use the fractions or the decimals for this one. So that would be your answer for that problem. Okay. So now we're going to look at some practice problems. So you all try these by yourself, and then once you're finished, you can unpause the video, and I'll go over the correct answer. So for the map, uh, the first one, the midpoint, we're going to have 1 plus 4 and divide by 2, which is going to be 5 over 2. So you can leave it as 5 over 2, or you can make it 2.5. Either one is fine with me. For the midpoint, you're going to add your x values, which are 5 and 3, and you're going to add your y values, which are 1 and 7. And then 5 plus 3 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. 1 plus 7 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. So that would be the midpoint you get. If you're able to do this in your head without writing it out, that is fine with me. Um, you don't have to show your work on adding and dividing by 2 if you don't need to. For the next one, the midpoint 
you're going to add negative 3 plus 4 and divide by 2, and then 2 plus 2 and divide by 2. And so that'll give you 1 half and 2. And so that would be your answer for those three. Okay, we're going to look at two more practice problems. So y'all try this one by yourself, and then unpause the video and I'll go over the correct answers. So for JK, you're going to add negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. And if you divide that by 2, you're going to get negative 1. And then 0 plus 3 divided by 2 is 3 halves. Four side KL. If you add your 1 and 3 and divide by 2, you get 2. And then 3 minus 1 and divide by 2 is going to give you 1. And then for JL, if you add and divide by 2, you're going to get 0 and negative 1 half. So those would be your three midpoints. Okay, let's try the last practice problem. So they give us three buoys. We want to find the midpoint of each buoy. So y'all try that one and then unpause the video and I'll go over it. So the first thing you want to do is to get the coordinates for each point. So this one is 4, 3. This one is 0, negative 2. And then this one is negative 3, 5. So for the first one, I'll do this side length here, connecting these two. So if we add our x values and divide by 2, we're going to get 1 half. And if we ha add and divide by 2 our y values, we're going to get 4. So that's one midpoint. Let's do this side length next. If you add your x's and divide by 2, you'll get 2. Add your y values and divide by 2, you'll get 1 half. And then we're going to do the third side. Add your x values and divide by 2, you'll get negative 3 halves. And if you add your y values and divide by 3, about 2, you'll get 3 over 2. So that would be your three midpoints. Okay, so hopefully you were able to get most of those correct by yourself. Now we're going to look at the challenge question. So we have a point A and B. We want to find the point that divides it into two segments whose ratio is 3 to 5. So y'all try that one. Once you have tried it or y'all are stuck, y'all can unpause the video and I'll go over it. I'll also give you a hint. So the point is going to be 3 eighths of the way from A to B. And that's because the total is 8 and it's going to be 3 of the 8 away. So if you want to pause it again and try, y'all can. If not, I'll go ahead and go over it. So I'm just going to do a rough sketch. We are in the first quadrant here. And so A is 2, 1. And B is 10, 5. And so we are looking for 3 eighths of the way from here to here. So what I'm going to do is find the midpoint here, which will be halfway between. And the midpoint would be 6, 4. Six, three. Okay. And then that cuts it into so that it's a 4 and a 4. And we're trying to get it so that it's 3 eighths of the way. So I'm going to find the midpoint here, which will change this into 2 and 2. And so the midpoint here would be 4, 2. But then we want to go 3. So we're going to cut this 2 one into a half so that it's 1 and 1. And this is the point that we're going to be looking for, this one right here. And that will be a length of 3, and this will be a length of 5. So it's going to be in a ratio of 3 to 5. So the midpoint between these two is going to be 5 and 3 halves. 
So that would be your point that divides them into segments that are a ratio of 3 to 5. So if you got that correct, that's awesome. If not, that's okay. It's a challenge question because it's supposed to be more difficult. So your homework is 1 through 30, so make sure that y'all do those tonight so we can go over any questions that you have to